Hey guys, welcome to the Sustainable Life Habits channel. Today we are in Venice in Italy, and I'm gonna show you guys what I have been eating the last few days. Now we've been here for almost two weeks. Uh, we've had a lot of pasta, we've had a lot of pizza, we've had a lot of gelato, one of those, if not multiple, every single night. But I'm gonna show you guys what I've been eating as well to help keep the gut healthy. So just to give you guys an idea on what you can eat while you're away, so like I said, we're here in Venice. I'm gonna take you to a local grocery store. It's just around the corner. So with that being said, let's head out. Hey guys, welcome back to the Sustainable Life Average channel. It is our last day in Venice. It's actually our last day of the trip. So we're gonna be grocery shopping. We're not actually buying groceries, but I'm gonna show you guys what I've been eating for the last two weeks to help keep you, your gut healthy, help keep in shape, all that sort of great stuff. So we're gonna head over here, Conad City. We're gonna head in. It's a great grocery store. I've been there a couple of times. I love the grocery stores here. There is very little to no preservatives. In fact, you almost have to go buy your groceries. In fact, you do have to buy your groceries on a daily basis because they go bad very quick without all those preservatives. They taste way better. I can tell you guys, my gut has been so healthy and happy on this trip, even with eating all the gelato and the pizza and the pasta. So even before we head in there, what I'm going to tell you guys is we've actually got an Airbnb on this whole entire trip for the last two weeks. We've done Airbnb. And the main reason for that is just because it's easier when you have a kitchen Whereas a hotel is typically, we don't have access to anything. Now these guys don't have microwave, but we've just been using frying pans and stove cups, things like that. And it has been so helpful, especially with lunches. We've been going out for at least one meal a day, but at least one of our meals a day has been cooked. And most likely it's two, we've been cooking the breakfast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you guys in here. I'm gonna show you what I've been buying. I'm gonna show you all my favorites that I've been buying to help keep that gut healthy. And some of my favorite things about the Italian grocery store. In fact, I'm going to tell you guys right now that when I head back home, back to Canada, I'm going to be looking for an Italian supermarket because I love the groceries. There's most definitely a taste. You can you, you can really taste it. It's just easier on the gut. Less preservatives, less things. It is incredible food. With all that being said, let's go get in the grocery store already. So here's a great option for snacking right here. Uh, things are super reasonably priced here. These are just some, these are just rice cakes. There's some flavored stuff there. Great option for snacking, healthy, very clean carb source. Let's keep going. So here's one of my favorite things I've been buying. This is just these little packages of baking not frozen, not processed, very clean, simple, just bacon. I've been frying these up with zucchini. They taste excellent. Even with the steak, just adds a little bit of uh, grease into that pan, the flavor, the saltiness, but this has been one of my absolute favorites to buy. It depends on where you've been buying them. They're anywhere from like one to three euro, well worth the cost. So right here, uh, this is something I've been buying a lot of. They are delicious. Maybe not the absolute healthiest. However, like I said, we're on holidays. We're finding some alternatives, but these are incredible. We got some, I believe these are yogurts. Uh, actually, I believe they're kind of more of like the, the the pudding or the Greek yogurt. These are these are a type of mousse. So 20 grams of protein. I actually don't speak Italian, so I don't even know what they say. But what I can tell you guys is uh, something like this. For what you get, it is a pretty good protein source. Now we want to keep that protein up over your way. So this is a great option. I wouldn't eat a ton of these. However, like I said, to get that protein boost, very good thing to eat. One of my favorites, they taste amazing. So let's keep going. So right over here, this is my favorite section of the whole entire place. Now, as you'll notice, there's not a whole lot of fresh meat in this place. However, um, it's only good for a day. So they don't bring in a ton of stuff. Whereas when you go to the American and the Canadian grocery stores, you're buying tons of this prepackaged stuff. Here they only cook it up because uh, if you buy this today, it's not going to be good by two days from now. 
but it's just, I've been eating a lot of this. It's very reasonably priced. We're talking like seven euros, good steak. Throw it in a frying pan with some butter, some of those bacon bits, and it is amazing. Uh, so yeah, I like to stick to the state. It's very simple. Like I said, a lot of it's whole food. I mean, aside from the, the protein puddings and the mousse, a lot of it's whole food. But let me show you guys what I've been eating for breakfast. It's actually wasn't the same thing I eat for breakfast here. Uh, what you'll notice is in Italy, they don't actually freeze their eggs. Uh, no place has here. Whereas when you go to Canada, US, you're gonna find every, this stuff is all in a freezer. Now I've been buying these eggs. We eat about four of them, four, four to six of them every every morning. A little salt, a little pepper, very easy to cook up and a little bit of butter. But again, it's a whole natural food. And that's what we're looking for is just to stay away from the processed food and eat that whole natural food. Now, what I mean, the processed food is things like pasta, which I'm usually getting from the restaurant, the carbonara, the uh, the uh, pasta or the or the pizza. It's all the processed stuff. I'm buying that, but because it, it is made fresh. So, however, um, let me go show you guys what I've been eating or helping out to, to pair this stuff with. So, come with me and let's head out. So, I've been buying this a few times. I'm not recommending this to you guys, but as a snack, what I've been doing here, uh, prosciutto has been one of my absolute favorites. So it's a little bit salty. It's a nice thing to add. It is absolutely delicious. But let's head down the stairs and I'm going to show you guys a couple other things. Now, their, this fruit is and uh, their fruit and vegetables are as fresh as it gets. I'm just going to show this to you guys. They do have a few options. You can see this looks nothing like an American or a Canadian section of the uh, cereals. Now they're pretty good. However, if we're on holidays, I'd rather stick to the eggs, stick to the whole natural foods, much better option for you guys. Uh, but some I've been eating a lot. I've been eating steak paired with zucchini and the bacon. So that's all this is. Two euros, 19 cents, pack of zucchinis. Like I said, fries up really good in the pan. It's simple as that. Come this way. Oh, one of the last things I'm going to show you guys for, for food sources is just bananas. I've been eating a ton of bananas. Now, these things are cheap. I'll be a stack of them like this. Probably cost you like less than two euro. It's a great thing. Kind of hits that sweet tooth craving just a little bit. They taste awesome. It's fresh. Actually, one thing that you'll notice with them being less processed is they're just much smaller. So anyways, with that being said, let's keep going. One other thing I'm going to show you guys. So now they have a ton of pop just on the other side of this column here. They have a lot of stuff. Now, if you have a sweet tooth craving or when I'm away, that's the time I actually am okay with drinking a lot of artificial sweeteners or I'm okay with it. Just kind of helps to hit that sugar craving. Uh, but things like this, zero sugar, stuff like that, uh, I've been really enjoying. They have a few options. You'll notice it's, again, it's not like North America where we have tons of diet options. I'll show you guys as we walk by it. Got a ton of options, uh, but if you if I am buying an option, it most definitely is the sugar free. All right, so last thing I want to talk to you guys about is just their water. Now they have these waters here. I think they're like maybe 50 cents. Actually, I think they're even cheaper. They might be 20, 20 to 30 cents. Uh, in euros for a big, big, massive bottle of water like that. So just make sure you stay hydrated. They also have a lot of water on the street you can get. Now, I am fully stocked and back at our Airbnb as far as water goes. I will show you guys this. This is something I've been enjoying while on holidays. It's uh, it's just a peach iced tea, house brand, Conad, um, zero sugar. I don't speak Italian, but I know that says zero sugar. Delicious option. So let's go pay for this and head out.
All right, you guys, we're going to wrap it up here. That's it for the grocery shopping. That is an amazing place. I love the groceries here. They taste amazing. Like I said, I would have bought them today, but I've been buying them all week. Um, if you haven't been to Italy or Venice specifically, it is an incredible place. Highly recommend you guys get here sometime. And like I said, it's our last day. I'm here with my wife. I live with Braxton. <laughs> my wife and I, Braxton, very disciplined guy. He's going to hold off. But Amber and I, we're going to go grab some, some gelato to finish up this trip. So let me show you guys what we're going to get. Hey guys so that wraps up this episode thanks for checking in powder gelato that is it like i said thanks for checking in if you made it this far please make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you guys at the next one